Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. And with his eyes closed, it's Schroeder Skywalker. He's just waking up. He knows it's ready to go to work. It's showtime. If you're new, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Smash that bell icon. Leave us a comment down below because Schroeder and I would love to hear it. Um, and thank you guys so much for the support lately. Didn't do a video last night. Um, just ran out of time. You know, real life gets in the way sometimes, so. Yeah, guys, we're back. We're back with the vengeance. We had a great day today. Early and main slate was just phenomenal. Um, but the night before, yeah, last night I was looking. I was going to do a, a early slate video because you guys really like those. But then I looked at the weather, and it looks like, like three out of the four games are going to get rained out. But that didn't happen, so that's what happened guys so anyways if you're new yeah guys hit that subscribe button keep it going we need nine more for 5.2k i'd really appreciate it guys let's get into this all right sort of said did i did i get out of bed for this you did son you did all right so we're gonna bring up the game by game we got a 10 gamer let me make this larger so you guys can see it all right so First up, we got Cincinnati at the Phillies, guys. First of all, before I do that, any any rain, no rain the night before, so that's good. So we got Cincinnati at Philly, guys. Three point nine for Cincinnati, four point seven for Philly. Sunny Gray is on the mound against Aaron Nola. Next up, we got Atlanta, the red hot Atlanta Braves, man, going up against Washington. 5.6 implied for Atlanta, 4.5 for Washington. We got Drew Smiley against Pablo Espino. Next up, we have Milwaukee at Pittsburgh, guys. 5.4 implied for Milwaukee, 3.8 for Pittsburgh. We got Eric Lauer versus some guy named Dylan Peters. Never heard of him. Next up, we got Chicago at Miami. 3.4 implied for Chicago, Miami 3.8. Miami hasn't decided on a starting picture yet, but Chicago will have Alec Mills. Next up, we got the Cleveland Indians at the Detroit Tigers. 4.9 implied for Cleveland, 4.8 for Detroit. We got Tristan McKenzie at 7.8 versus Drew Hutchinson at 4.8. Ugh, Drew Hutchinson. Man. Next up, we got Baltimore at Boston. You guys stacked Boston today. You are doing really good. And, yes, we did. We did at the DFS Club, guys. 3.9 implied for Baltimore. 6.7 for Boston. You got Keegan Clay Aiken going up for Baltimore against Eduardo Rodriguez at 9.8K. Next up, this was a good game, man. These two teams, man, they put on exciting games when they play each other. The Yankees at the White Sox. 3.7 implied total for the Yankees, 4.9 for the White Sox. We got Nestor Cortez going up versus Luis or Lucas Giolato. All right, Schroeder? He's, he's looking. You see the look he's giving me right now. Next up, we got Tampa Bay at Minnesota. Tampa Bay, 5.9 implied total. Ah, I can't believe Brandon Lau got a goose egg today. That's rare. Versus the Twins, 4.4 implied. We got Luis Patino versus Charlie Brown at 5.6. <laughs> I know it's Charlie Barnes, guys, but everybody gets a nickname, all right? Next up, we got the St. Louis Cardinals, 5.3, versus the Kansas City Royals, 4.9. We got J.A. Happ going up against the boob, Chris Bubik. Love me a Royal stack tomorrow, guys, but we'll get into that. And last but definitely not least, we got my Oakland Athletics, 5.5 implied total, going up against the Texas Rangers. We got Sean Manaya, 10.4K, versus Kobe Allard. So that's it for the game by game breakdown. Again, this is the night before. Um, no weather to, to worry about as of the night before, but y'all know that can change. Guys, it's football season. It's baseball season. We're doing summer league basketball. We're doing everything, guys. You want our lineups, the cheat sheets, the ownership, the projections. I know I'm a broken record, guys, but I'm not going to stop until everybody joins the DFS club. I want everybody in here, man. We have a very good community. No drama. No uh, no shenanigans, man. We're just trying to make the best community out there. And so far, I think we're doing a pretty good job, guys. So all you got to do is go to www.dfsclub.com, guys. You got DFS space. My brother from another mother. 
myself, and we do every single sport, ladies and gentlemen. We don't just stick you to one, two, maybe a third. No, you get every single sport, everything. Click join now. We're degenerates, man. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS. And then we're the cheapest in the business, guys. It's plain and simple. $14.99 a month for everything. NFL, MLB, PGA, NBA, which will be back in October. MLB, of course. UFC. I mean, come, what more do you guys want, guys? It's, we're, we're not trying to get rich off this. We're just trying to... We, I'd say we probably are one of the largest in the industry, but I'm trying to be the largest in the in the industry. Get everybody away from all these crooks that are charging you know, way too much. So, yeah, guys, come come aboard. Hop on the train, the DFS Club train, guys. We got silver plans, gold plans. The more you pay up, the more you save. And, of course, we have our three-day passes for only $7.99. So, stop. Don't you dare be sour. If you're tired of losing, come join us, guys, DFSClub.com. All right, so you have any questions about the memberships too, feel free to email me, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com. So let's bring up Draft Dashboard, who's a sponsor of the show. This is the tool I'm going to use, guys, for every video. It's $1 for 30 days, guys. Click on the link in the description below. Just in time for NFL, guys, you yourself can have Draft Dashboard. You do get all my player pools for NFL, NBA, MLB, and NHL, guys. You get the, the lineup optimizer, the player trends, who's trending up, who's getting you right in the old brown starfish, sleepers and studs, the position optimizer, and the MLB cheat sheet, because if you can't win, cheat. Shout out to Jesse Ventura. Got the best studs, best mid-tier, best value, best home run hitters, best hitters and home run spots. We'll, we'll say it that way. This is draft dashboard, guys. All right, so let's get into it. So we're starting off at pitching. I'm not a big fan of the pitching on this slate. It's just we have some good pitchers, but it's just bad matchups. Pretty bad matchups. So off the top, the most expensive pitcher on the slate is Lucas Giolato. Sound like an Italian ice cream or something. It's just he's going up against the White Sox, man. You saw these teams. They battled, man, back and forth. The Yankees are looking pretty good as of late, too. It's risky, man. 23 and 13. At 10-7, you kind of want... That 23. He did get 23 last time against the Yankees. But this is a new and improved Yankees lineup. So I might have some hesitancy here. I think I, we can pay down a pitching today and pretty much get away with it. Uh, Aaron Nola against Cincinnati. Aaron Nola has been outstanding lately, but I'm afraid of that Cincinnati offense. Now, I know they almost got no hit today. But today is a new day, and we know that's not like Cincinnati. So... 10K Aaron Nola. If you want to take a shot in GPPs, I'm going to see what the ownership is. I might do it, but I don't know, guys. Cincinnati, Winker. If Winker is going to be out again, I mean, yeah, that's a big hit to the lineup. But, again, he may play, so we'll see. Eduardo Rodriguez against Baltimore at 9.8K is interesting. 21-32, his last two. The only thing is he doesn't go six innings, guys. So, for Fandle purposes, you want that six inning. You want that – um Quality start bonus, six innings pitch. DraftKings, it doesn't matter. So for FanDuel, I wouldn't pull the trigger here. He is $1,900 cheaper on FanDuel. So he's really cheap over there, but he just doesn't pitch more than five innings. So 21 32 in his last two, 11 21, 22, 24. So all 20s against Baltimore, except for one game, which was the last game he pitched against them. So if you're content with that on DK, don't mind it for 9 8. You got Sonny Gray going up against Philly, guys. He's 9.5K, so you're going to pay a premium. Um, you're not really getting a deal here. Philly doesn't scare me. I keep saying it, and it, it, it's true, man. I just, they're not that dangerous. A lot of people are con like, oh, I'm not going against Philly, but nothing against Philly. Nothing. It's just they're not Boston. They're not the Yankees. They're not the A's, you know. Um, but, yeah, 2017, 26 in his last three, so he's finally come back to life. After having a couple rough outings there, uh, 14, 23, and 9 in his last three against Philly. Sonny Gray is always an option. Um, averages 5.1 innings so far this season, 4.4 ERA, and 111 strikeouts. And let's see. Aaron Nola has more strikeouts, by the way, than Giolato. Forgot to throw that in there. Next up, it's risky. But for GBPs, I kind of like Tristan McKenzie because I love the pitch on pitch. I love the pick on Cleveland. 
The only problem is Tristan McKenzie, man. I mean, he'll go deep in the game. Six, seven innings in his last two starts. If he can get control, right? He walks. He's a kid, so he probably has the jitters. He walks a lot of batters. That's his downfall. He's 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 a wild man, but 7.8K, man. I don't mind taking a shot here against uh, Cleveland, and he's $600 cheaper on FanDuel, so he's pretty cheap on both sites. Then at 10.4K, you got Sean Mania going up against some Texas Rangers. Sean Mania has not been good in his last two outings, three and negative three, respectively. And he hasn't done that good against Texas, 9, 15, 5, 16. He had a 27 five games ago. So not really interested there. Um, let's see. Alec Mills, maybe against Miami, 7-3. I just like the price tag. He'll go six innings if he's doing good. Um, just don't expect a lot, man. 427 ERA, only 53 strikeouts on the year. But it is in a hitter-friendly park, and Miami struggles to hit the ball, let's face it. So Alec Mills it might be a SP2 option at 7-3. Um, and then the boob, man, Chris Bubik. I did – I was great with the Kansas City call today. We got that 5-5 pitcher. I forget his name already, but I always play him. Um, but, yeah, he got us 20-something fantasy points. 5.9K for the boob, man. I think that's any pitcher that's 5K that has upside, that'll pitch six innings like he does. Six, six, five in his last three. Um, just a ground ball pitcher. Only 72 strikeouts on the year. But for 5-9, that's pretty damn good. He does get St. Louis. You know, it's St. Louis. I mean, a couple bats on there, maybe you got to worry about, but not really. So, yeah, I don't mind it as a SP2 at only 5.9K. Um, let's see. Eric Lauer against Pittsburgh. What is he? 8.9K. Don't mind it. If you can get to him, I'll, I'll put him in here. Luis Patino, this kid has a bright future. Six, five, six in his last three innings pitched. 14 7 31. So his last two outings not too good. Minnesota hasn't been looking good either as of late. So 8 1, though, is a little too pricey for me. Um, and that's it for pitching. So I really dug deep. I mean, I think the difference between taking down and just cashing on this slate is going to be getting pitching just right. So let's go to catcher real quick because I got Salvador Perez for you. Part of my Kansas City stack I'm liking. He's 4.9K. Been kind of cold lately, but look at this history against Hap. Yes, yeah, so they're going up against J.A. Hap, which is always a nice pitcher to pick on. Um, OPS versus lefties, 1.004. He got it over to he got it over 900. Now it's over to 1,000. I call it 1,000. But 11 for 26 lifetime against Hap, batting 423. But look at this. Five home runs and 26 at-bats against Hap. Five singles, one double, five home runs. KC fell pretty flat tonight, so look for a nice bounce back spot here, especially with Salvador Perez, and I don't mind paying up a catcher to get him for 4.9. $1,500 cheaper on FanDuel, respectively. All right, so let's go to first base. All right, so Matt Olson got another one today. God bless him, 5.7K. Don't mind going back here again, especially with this history against Allard. He's 5 for 12. Batting 417 with two home runs. So I like it a lot. Give me some Matt Olson in an A stack at 5'7. Next up, this dude right here, Frank Swindell. He sound like someone something from a freaking infomercial, like a Frank Swindell here. Like selling like ShamWows or something. But Mr. Swindell is very cheap. I played him today and he crushed his salary. He's still bare minimal. He's only 2K. 11, 28, 21 in his last three, guys. Don't mind that at all. Now, he has done better against lefties, but he's going up. We don't know, right? Miami, we don't know who they're putting out there. But Frank Schwindel, that's third for bare minimal. These are the, these are the players you want to get, guys. Get them in there. You might see him on an infomercial tonight. Then we got Trey Mancini. He got off the schneid today and got a home run. Don't mind going back here for 4.5K. Against Eduardo Rodriguez, he has 40 at-bats against him. He He's a lefty. He crushes left-handed pitching. He's batting lifetime 359 against him with seven singles, five doubles, and two home runs. So it's a lefty matchup. Don't mind it. So Trey Mancini at a discounted price at 4.5.
Next up for Kansas City, I also like Carlos Tito Santana. He's only 3.4K. Against Hap, who's a lefty, he crushes lefties. 11 for 25. So 25 appearances, 11 hits, batting 440. Nine singles, a double, and a home run. Carlos Tito Santana, guys, I don't mind him, 3.4K. Normally bat second in the order. So let's go to second base. Let's see. So the Red Hot Atlanta Braves. I was almost called them the Hawks again, guys. But, yeah, I don't mind an Atlanta stack whatsoever. They're Red Hot right now, especially Ozzy Albies. He's 5K. Going up against the righty. He crushes righties, guys. Look at his, look at his last four games. 31, 14, 14, 30. So always leads off. Get him in there, especially if you're going to stack Atlanta at 5K. Kike Hernandez against Stack Boston. Better Stack Boston. 4.6K leadoff hitters. They haven't. They don't mess with this price at all. Um, no bats against Aiken, but lefties right. He does a little bit better against lefties, but not by much. Um, let's see. Whit Merrifield. Still too cheap, guys. He's only 3.7K. He got me 20-something fantasy points on FanDuel today. Um, which is good because on FanDuel you're paying a premium. But on DraftKings, he's only 3.7, guys. He does everything. Stolen bases, you name it. 22 plate appearances. He does have two home runs off of Hap. So, but man, those stolen bases and RBIs add up with him. So don't mind Whit Merrifield at a mere 3.7K. Then next up for the A stack, we got Jed Lowry. What's up, Schroeder? You're going to make an appearance again? All right, buddy. All right. He's like, man, he just, he just can't wait to get the Schroeder's picks. He can't wait. Um, Jed Lowry, 3.9K. Going up against Allard, he's three for eight with two home runs. So in eight at plate appearances, he has, does have two home runs off him. So give me some Jed Lowry as part of that A stack I'm liking also at 3.9K. And how about some Hanser Alberto? 2.8K, part of this Kansas City stack, I don't mind. Against Hap, 10 for 24. That's a 417 batting average with three home runs, three doubles, three home runs, four singles. Love me some Hanser Alberto at 2.8K. Lots of value on the slate, guys. You just got to know where to find it. Let's go to third base. Third base, I ain't going to lie, it's kind of gross. Uh, let's see. Matt Chapman. Oakland's got him at the bottom of the order because he's not having the best season. Until now. And this progression has been... Way overdue, guys. He's only batting 216 with 14 home runs. Look at his last three games. 28, 13, 16. Got a double dong day today. Two home runs. He's 4.6K. Don't mind that. Um, against Allard, he's one for eight lifetime. Not too good, but I'm going to ride the hot hand here. If I'm going to stack Oakland, I'm going to get Matt Chapman in there at 4'6". Hopefully, hopefully at low ownership. Let's go to shortstop. Because we won't stop, and we can't stop. We got Tim Anderson at 5.3K, the Field of Dreams hero. And if you guys didn't see, it was great news to see it. Because, like I said before, watching that game was just make me feel like a kid again. There was no politics. There was no drama. There was no protesting. It was just baseball. I and mean, it was beautiful. So that was the most watched game and MLB in 16 years. 16 years they broke the record, guys. So congratulations, man. If you just keep it to the sport and make it fun like this, you will have more success. All sports. All you should, should take notice. But, yeah, back, back to the matter at hand here. Tim Anderson, 5.3K. Love playing him against lefties, guys. He's one for two against Cortez, which, you know, not much exposure there, but he's been doing great things against lefties. The hero of the Field of Dreams game, guys, 5.3K. Tim Anderson, get him in there. Xander Bogarts against a lefty at 5.2K. Yes, please. Um, OPS versus lefties. You already know it's 942. He's had two good games in a row. Three of his last four, not too bad. He did have that goose egg. That's because he's like, you know what? Skywalker's probably going to roster me today, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do nothing. Instead of getting a hit, I'm going to go out there and fuck the dog in front of everybody. And that's what he did that day. But he's been hot lately, and especially against lefties, it's all right, Schroeder. It's just a figure of speech. It's fine. Um, Alexander Bogarts at 
What Shorter doesn't know is my wife and I just adopted a German Shepherd puppy from um, Maverick German Shepherds. Go check them out, guys. Maverick German Shepherds. Yes, it is Miranda Maverick's family. Um, my wife and I just put a down payment down so we get to pick our puppy, but Shorter doesn't know yet. So um, that'll be interesting. Well, I'll keep you guys updated on that progress, and I will bring the pup on here once we get him. Dansbury Swanson Steak. 4.6k part of this atlanta stack man these guys are hot it must be really exciting right now to be an atlanta fan I'm telling you 39 17 13 in his last three gets a matchup against espino who's a righty he crushes righties guys so dansbury swanson steak at four six get him in there guys next up dd gregorius it's only 2.9k he's been batting fifth lately we'll see if that keeps up now against gray he's 500 and he crushes righties this year. Five for 10, batting 500, four singles and a double. So just need that home run. But at 2-9, I mean, you really don't need much. So get him in there, guys. Um, and if you need, a, like, a punt guy for New York, Tyler Wade's your dude, man. He bats later in the order. But, man, he's been doing great. 8, 13, 24, 19 in his last four. And he gets a match up against Giolato. No, 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 no uh, history. But he is a righty. Tyler Wade crushes righty. So I don't mind it for 2.8 as I like a pump play if you're desperate at shortstop. And let's go to outfield. All right. So Sterling Marte, my man. So glad my team got him. 6.1K. Well deserved. Well deserved. He's keeping us in the hunt, man. Worth every penny. Double digit fantasy points. The streak was finally broken two days ago where he got five. Before that, he had like nine games in a row of double-digit fantasy points. So he got right back on it today. So give me some Sterling Marte, part of that A stack at 6.1. He does everything, guys. Stolen bases, home runs, extra base hits. How about J.D. Martinez, man? 5K. Dead, had a great day today. He gets, you know, lefty, righty. He used to do better against, uh, I think it was lefties back in the day. But now it really doesn't matter. Uh, 28-0, he didn't play that last game. So 23 and 28 in his last two. Don't mind going back to the well here. If you're going to stack Boston, J.D. Martinez. Nelson Cruz in Minnesota. Don't mind it. Like I always say, at home, I don't like playing them because it's a, hit, a pitcher-friendly park. But while they're in Minnesota, I don't mind the price tag either. He's under 5K and he's 4.7K. He gets a lefty. Do I need to say more? OPS versus lefties, 1.176. Get yourself some Nelson Cruz control. And Hunter Renfro, he got me a home run. It was his last at bat of the game. I was sweating there for a minute, but I'm going right back to the well here. He's 3.8K, and he's facing a lefty. Yes, I don't even got to think about this one. Give me Hunter Renfro. OPS versus lefties is 831 as opposed to 653 versus righties. Get him in there, guys. Part of that Boston stack. And Lorenzo Kane, I don't mind as a one-off. Now, it's not the Lorenzo Kane that we've known and loved throughout the years, but he's been picking it up. He's kind of like Matt Chapman right now. He's only 3.5K. 7, 11, 14, 15 in his last four. Like seeing that. And he's facing a lefty. OPS versus lefties is 916, guys. He's only 2 for 18 against this pitcher, which is kind of embarrassing, but you got to ride the hot hand sometimes, and I don't mind it. 3.5K. I saw one off there. And the judge, please rise. The judge has entered, guys. 4.8K. You're getting him under 5K. Still viable, guys. He's found himself again. 30, 36 in his last two. 4.8K. If this man's ever on, like I told the, the DFS club before we played that Field of Dreams game, I said, Aaron Judge will get a home run. Whenever Aaron Judge is on a nationally televised game, he goes off. For sure, he'll get you a home run. So we got that right. But, yeah, I think I think the streak continues, guys. 4.8K. Even in a tough matchup against Giolato, he does give up some hard contact. So, yeah, I'll ride the hot hand there. Excuse me, guys. Next up, Alex Verdugo is back. He's back to doing Alex Verdugo things, guys. He's only 3.5K. You can find these Boston guys that are cheaper and just stack them that way, and it ends up working out. Um, I had Bobby Dubliak again had two home runs today. Bats ninth, very cheap, and he was very low owned. 
So same with Verdugo, man. He's two for three against Aiken. Does better against righties, though. Not so hot against lefties, but I don't mind it. Is he a priority? No, not a priority, but I just got to throw it in there. How cheap he is. He's only 3.5K. And speaking of the devil, where is Bobby Dobliak? I don't see him on here, but, man, this kid is on another level. Let me bring him up here. Let's see. Here he is. Okay, they haven't added him yet. So 30, 28, 31, guys, in his last three. 30, and he's going up against a lefty again, guys. OPS versus lefties, 955. Get him in there. Stop watching from the sidelines. You can get these Boston guys really cheap if you play your cards right. So get this young man in there. They might bump him like the second or something in the lineup to, to reward him for doing such a great job. So that's going to do it for the picks, guys. So hopefully, sorry for the long video. I just get excited coming on here with you guys. Um, hopefully, you get th these videos help. And if you feel like you need a little more, come join us, guys. DFSclub.com. Your daily fantasy sports powerhouse. Come get the lineup, the cheat sheets, the ownership, the projections. A great family. We all have each other's backs because we all have one common goal, which is to win. That's all we want to do. And before we go, you already know what time it is, guys. It is time for none other than Schroeder's picks. And Schroeder's going to give us his three home run calls, guys. Three home run calls. Um, his first two are going to be single home runs. His third call is going to be who's going to get us two. Let me grab this little rascal right here. You ready for Schroeder's picks? All right, buddy. Can we get a, before we do that, can we get a hallelujah? There you go. Hallelujah. Oh, boy. He thought I was going to lift him up or something. We good? Okay, we're good. All right, Schroeder. So looking at the, the picks here, who do you got as your first home run call? Who do you think is going to get us one? Who do you got? Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. You're kind of playing it on the safe side with this one, but I kind of agree with you. So Schroeder's first home run call is none other than Matt Olson. All right, Schroeder. So who's going to get us another home run? Who do you got as your second home run call? Who do you got? Okay. Oh, really? You're trying, you're trying to get comfortable. I know. I'm sorry. Schroeder's second home run call is none other then please ride. The judge is in session. Aaron Judge, he says, is going to get us one. All right, Schroeder. So we got Matt Olson. We got Aaron Judge. Who's going to get us two home runs and win us all the money? Who's going to get us two home runs today, Schroeder? Who do you got? Okay. I think that's what I thought you said. All right. So Schroeder's third home run call is none other than J.D. Martinez, guys. And that's it for Schroeder's Picks. Saturday night is Schroeder's Picks. What can I say, guys? So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. Schroeder and I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Smash that bell icon. And, uh, yeah, guys, let's go. DFS Club, please stand up. All right, we're going to say a prayer for everybody. We're going to get up out of here. Ready? God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. Thank you, God, for another day on this wonderful earth. You ready, Schroeder? Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Schroeder and I will see you at the top of these contests. And thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, guys.